welcome back to my channel everyone i'm so glad to have you back so today i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful v design dress it also has a ruched lower part so uh this inspiration was from a particular designer she's actually a very curvy designer when she wore the dress it was really beautiful however i made it for someone really slim and it turned out really beautiful as well please check it out and if you like the, to see how i made this please just keep following it's just a short video but very explanatory as you can see i added an ankara to the lower part instead of the feather which was the from the original inspiration and it still turned out very very beautiful so uh without wasting so much time let's just go ahead and i'll tell you what i did and how i did it so the first thing i did actually was to take all the usual measurement the basic measurements i already have the bust line the under bust line and the waistline marked so i'm just marking um the round measurements on top the round bust the round under bust and the round waist so that's what i'm marking uh, on these lines and do not forget to add your seam allowance please do not forget to add your seam allowance if you decide to add one or two that's fine and when you finish marking just um, join the point so one other very important part is the armhole usually you just make a curve on the arm on the armhole like this but uh in the, for this particular one you actually make the armhole curve outside the line outside the line so the first thing you need to do is to measure the armhole that's from top to bottom of the armhole then whatever you get divide it by two in my case i had seven and a half so i divided it by two that is three and a half and quarter so i'll mark that point that's where i'll start my curve from so that's where my mid curve will be so just watch as i do this so i just marked um the center point and on that point i'll mark out one inch one inch outside the armhole line one inch outside the armhole line that's what i'm marking now and as soon as i have that i'll just make a curve so all i'm doing is marking the armhole curve outside the line just like we do when we are cutting a jacket or a shirt anything like that so that's what we are doing right now and for the v we need to locate where it's going to get to from the under from the bust downward we we'll mark two inch and then we we'll join from the armhole and note please you are not joining from the shoulder line you are joining from that same point where you marked out one inch i hope you understand what i'm saying so from that same point where you mark out the one inch is where you are going to join for to make the v so the v is two inch from the under bust that's where the v is going to end so the next thing we need to do now is to mark out the neck the neck is very simple and it's a high neck it's a high round neck so we're going to mark out three inch sideways and three and a half downwards so the width is three inches and the length is three and a half so as soon as you have that just make your curve if you don't have this curved ruler please just use a free hand it's just the neck and it's easy to cut so i'm just doing this because i have the ruler by my side so as soon as you are done just make sure you cut out the excess and make sure you cut out everything on the line as well so make sure you cut out the v the v part as well and the x excess for the bust and um, the waist part also cut them out so this is what the v is going to look like you can see it's already looking beautiful so as soon as you're done just cut out the excess as well and then we are also good to go so this is what it's going to look like when we transfer it to the fabric so as soon as we are done with this just keep it aside or you take your fabric if you have your fabric and transfer immediately but before you do that don't forget the back the back is just a basic back don't forget there's no dart in this dress at all there's no dart so um the back neck is three and a half by one inch one inch for the length three and a half sorry three inches sideways one and a half downwards so it's a high neck at the back three inches sideways one and a half downwards so and if you want to add zip add zip in for this particular one i did not add zip because this um, fabric is really really stretchy so i'm just going ahead to transfer all the patterns to my fabric like i said i'm using a stretchy fabric not too stretchy not too light but really stretchy but not too light if you are going to drip it's better to use a a stretchy fabric that actually helps and for uh, since i use the stretchy fabric i did not use um zip at all so i'm um, what i'm doing here right now is just adding um seam allowance and i'm adding one i'm um, sorry three quarter to all to all the sides i'm just adding three quarter to all the sides just to make sure i have enough when i'm joining back the 
v-neck so as soon as i'm done with adding all my allowance i'll go ahead and trace out the neck and cut out as well just trace out your neck exactly how it is please do not add extra to your neck and then you are done so just make sure you transfer other patterns as well and we are cutting two of these two of these not one so i just also transferred other pattern and for this part i already went ahead i took it to the sewing machine and i sew it down as you can see i sew the neck and also the armhole i sew everything inside out then i will have to turn it please make sure you sew it inside out the armhole and the neck so those parts will have to be sewn inside out and then you turn as soon as you turn you can take it to the sewing machine so i'm um, sorry you can take it to the pressing iron and press <laughs> excuse me not the sewing machine again and then um you are good to go as soon as you are done pressing so now i'm just marking out half inch for the seam allowance on the other part of the v half inch that's where the v is going to attach to so that's what i'm doing right here and i took it to the sewing machine this is what it looks like it looked like when i was done sewing so as you can see i've not even pressed it and it's already looking good so i just need to take it to the sewing machine and press it so this is what it's looking like you can see it's looking good already and then the next thing we need to do is the skirt part or the lower part so all we need to do now is um subtract the half length from the full dress the full dress is for and the half length is 17 inches so that's what we took out and what we had left was 28 we added seam allowance and also um, this is to get the hip point we marked seven inches downwards and then we marked the hip measurement on it plus seam allowance please do not forget to get the hip point the hip line is seven inches from the waist from the waist downward is seven inches so that on that part you mark your seam um sorry your hip measurement plus seam allowance mark your waist measurement plus seam allowance and for the lower part whatever you get on your hip just take it downwards and minus two in my case i had nine inches for my hip plus seam allowance and i minus two i subtracted two and gave me seven inches so that will just give you a straight pencil skirt because this skirt has to be really really not too wide because it's the ruched is not on both sides so that's why as you can see it's going to give me a really really pencil looking skirt and that's what we need for this particular design so i'm just cutting out the excess now making sure it looks good and as you can see like i said this person is really slim and <laughs> really really slim so you can see this skirt is really small so that's what i did and i cut two two different um parts for the skirt one for the back one for the front so i took out the front just the front not the back just the front one piece now and on one side i'm going to attach an elastic but before i attach the elastic i need to determine what length the elastic will be and as you can see in the picture the back has no uh, ruch at all no gathers the back is really really plain so that's why we are using only one piece that's the front so i'll measure what i have downwards from the waist to the tip i'll measure what i have and in my case i had 30 because i usually i had 28 for the normal measurement and i added seam allowance so i'm cutting this elastic right now because the elastic is too wide not because of it not for any reason just because the elastic is too wide so i divided it into two because i can use it use the other one some other time as well so i just pin it down to it and like i said to get the elastic the length of the elastic whatever you get you divide it by two in my case i had 30 i divided it by two so it gave me 15 so the elastic is 15 inch long so and that's what i'll be attaching to my skirt so whatever you get just divide by two and attach it to your skirt so just like this and this is what it gave me as you can see this place has become shorter the elastic part has become shorter and the other part has become really longer so you can see it's already looking good it's already forming so i just need to take it now and add, attach front to front upper part to lower part and that's what we need to do and for the back there's nothing at all the back is really plain as you can see here no gathers nothing it's really really plain so um, um, so as you can see there's only one part of the ruched there's only one part which is ruched the other part is not ruched however it extends to the other part and since the other the ruched part was smaller you can see the back has an excess there's an excess at the back so you just you get an excess because one part is longer than the other 
and then you just go ahead and trim it down the reason the one part is longer than the other is because the part where there is an elastic becomes automatically shorter and the other part becomes longer so you just trim it and that will give you your slant remember the dress is slanty so that will give you your slant that slant you want it will give you your slant and as soon as you have your slant if you want to add feathers you can go ahead and add your feathers if you want to add um ankara like i did you can go ahead and uh, attach your ankara if you want to leave it that way you are free if you want to leave it like this it's okay as well but in my case my client wanted me to add a bubble Ankara, a bubble shape Ankara, and I already made a bubble shape, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach it and to give me my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. So, thank you all for watching. This is what it turned out to be. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all again. I look forward to you clicking the like button i look forward to seeing your comments and please always come back to